Hello once again everyone, Mark Ritchie with Virginia Rider Magazine and welcome to another installment of Lesser Known Roads. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a twist as we haven't ridden this road before. It was a tip from our YouTube channel subscriber and good friend Henry Jordan and we're going to explore this together. Uh, the road we'll be on is Seipler Mountain Road which connects Troublesome Valley and Swedland Valley roads near Fort Seibert and Oak Flat north of Brandywine. So sit back and enjoy and thanks as always for watching Virginia Rider Magazine. We're just going to roll from here. We just crossed the intersection of Kaiser Gap and Troublesome Valley. We're on Troublesome Valley. And we're looking for our turn on Cypler Mountain Road. So Wendy and I just enjoyed a picnic at Ruddle Park where we did the intro. We had a delicious sub from AGK Italian restaurant. Sipler, Siple Mountain. This is us. Wow, look at that. Wide open spaces in the middle of nowhere on an empty road. Good call, Henry. It is a very crisp 81 degrees. High pressure is definitely in control. There's almost no humidity. Today we're sporting the Joe Rocket Alter Ego mesh jacket, which comes with an outer shell, but all the armor and padding, the pockets for it are in the mesh portion of the jacket. It's one of the most versatile jackets I've ever owned. I don't even know if they still make it, but I'm sure if they don't, they make something similar or somebody does. But I would highly recommend it. Looks like fresh pavement. It's a bit bumpy, but not too bad. I don't know what's over this. So I'm going to slow down. Ah, it's another roller coaster dip. I'm always after riding on new roads. It just helps the mind think and create different loops and different configurations of getting from point A to point B and back. I think I should have taken a nap after that sub. You talk about fat, dumb, and happy. That was delicious. So this will, if I don't get, uh, or make any wrong turns, will come out on Swedland Valley Road, which connects Oak Flat to Moorfield. And that's a great highway gear cruise road. It's about 30 miles long. And it's just one of those roads that you just cruise on. And if you ever need a, a dose of highway speed wind for in 20 or 30 minutes or so that that's highly recommended as well so 
so far I'm impressed. The pavement looks fresh. There's no chip ceiling. No traffic. So I'm kind of anxious to see where this spits out on our crossroad. Thank you, Mr. Jeep. I don't know, I lost count again. Was that two or three cars? They are low shoulders, so you definitely don't want to come in hot to one of these. If you ever get right on the edge and have to put your foot down, the bike's going down. I think this might be one of those roads that ticks every degree on the compass as well. I will leave a link to a map in the description below. This will work out nicely for any loops around the Brandywine area to get to and from Franklin. I mean, it just seems like unlimited possibilities having another road. It's just another factor in an unlimited equation. I sense we're nearing but then again, I don't know for certain, but we are descending and it would only make sense that our crossroad since it too is in a valley would be, yep, here we are. So this is Fort Seibert and there's a pretty interesting history regarding that. So how'd you like that road? Thanks again, Henry. Good call. This will take us to uh, Brandywine if we stay, if we turn left at the stop sign. If we turn right, that'll go to Franklin. So thanks again for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. And we look forward to seeing on the next one. And thanks again, as always, for watching Virginia Rider Magazine. Cheers.